Hey, what's up guys? It's Kid up here and it's definitely been a while since my last video and I think it's been more than like well like a month and a half now and you know I'm still alright, I'm still doing design stuff, I'm still like working, living just like before. Um, but just to keep my channel alive, um, do you want to upload another video to talk about icons? So in this video, I want to talk about where do I find icons and how that will benefit you as the designer as well because before, I really had a hard time just looking for high quality icons and like keeping my icon language consistent. Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about that. And what I noticed is also like one thing, um, I have been mentoring a younger designer for the past, I think like four, four, four or five months now. And one thing that she used to do is to find icon in random places. So her icon language throughout the design is just not very consistent. So uh, for example, right, like if you're a younger designer, you don't really know how icon works. So you may go on a website like Noun Project like this, and then you may type like, hey, I want to search for, let's say, Rocket, right? Um, so if you go on like Rocket, and then you can find a bunch of icons for Rockets, right? I'm like, hey, I'm going to pick this icon for my Rocket. And then, oh, I also need a plane, right? So like plain then you're like hey I may just you know go with an icon like that for planes right so if you pick random icon from places to like put it on your design and that is definitely not consistent you know like different icon has different weights different stroke and if icon language is not consistent that will not look professional just imagine right now right if you're using your Android phone and then all of your icon language is not consistent then you can see like how sloppy that design is going to be right so uh, my suggestion is pick a very big icon pack and a big icon pack will be at least like anywhere above like 500 different icons right and that will be a pretty big pack like definitely the bigger the number the better right so um that would be my suggestions but where do i actually find all of these you know high quality um, like or big icon packs right so this is what the video is about I have three places for you to find icons or like me finding icons right now so the first one is very simple is called Google uh, symbol um, a tourist symbol and that is where like that is what we use in Google uh, all the time right now because you know this is created by Google um, so why this pack is very very powerful and like why do I love you so much is like Google pack like this pack is actually pretty big like it has like uh, 2,500 icons, right? So this is already basically will cover you most of the basis, right? So imagine if Google is using this pack and that would definitely cover your project as well. And why do I love it so much is, you know, sometimes your icon has different characteristic, right? For example, I want my icon to be a little bit thinner, then you can adjust the stroke in here, right? You can like, hey, I want it to be thin, like, but how thin does it go, right? It can go from like 100 to 700, right? So that will be very, very helpful if your design style is more like a line style product, then thin icon may be better for your project, right? Then you can adjust it right here, or if you want your icon to be fill, right? Instead of line icon, you want it to be fill icon, and you can just do it in here as well. It will fill basically all of your icons in here. And then grading as well, let's say I want my icon to be used in a very, very small space, then you can adjust the grading to, you know, custom, like as custom, whatever sizes that you want to put your icons on, right? So it's just very, very dynamic, very flexible for this icon pack. And icon pack, you know, like icon is already a very symbolic thing that you want people to understand it. So I will say personally, I will say that your icon doesn't have to be very, very complex, but you just have to give out that meaning of whatever you put your icons on, right? So I think this material icon package is super useful. And how to actually use this pack is like Google has a material symbol plugin for Figma. So you can basically just drag whatever you want in here, right? So for example, I want a car, and then I can just drag this car icon right here. Just click it and boom, you can see the car icon here. So I want to adjust it here now, right? I want to adjust it to be like ways to be 200, right? Like I want it to be uh, fill. Um, and the grading uh, emphasis, right? Just make it a little bit more bolder and then like the sizes as well. So that you can control all the thing about your icon. So that is extremely, extremely helpful and just make my life a lot easier as a designer that I have a pack like that to access to. And so that is the first thing that I kind of, you know, use a lot right now. I would say like maybe 60% of my project, I would use this icon pack for that. But then what are the other icon packs that I can use also to use, right? And the second one that I use a lot is called Font Awesome. And if you have been working with engineers, you will know that they love Font Awesome because Font Awesome, you don't have to actually download that icon and put it in your product. Font Awesome is literally just a font, right? And Font Awesome, the icon pack is extremely huge, if not the biggest um, throughout the entire 
like icon pack community, whatever you want to call it, right? It's extremely, extremely big. So why is Font Awesome so good, so awesome? It's because other than it being a font, it's also they have a lot of different style as well, right? Like I said, if you want it to be regular, solid, bold, light, whatever you want to adjust it, you can do it right in here as well. Font Awesome is super big. Like I want to type in like cats, right? Then I have a lot of cats icon and it's free too, like Google, Simple is free, Font Awesome is free as well. But how do you actually apply this to your design, right? So for example, like I want to apply, I want to use this icon right now, the location dots, right? Then it's super extremely simple. Like you see, you see here, um, you can just copy this uh, number or you can just do something about it. I think like just copy. So if you click on that, it will say copy. And then if I go back to Figma, right? Then how do I apply this icon to my design right now? So I have, I have a design right here. Uh, that's my older work. Um, so for example, it doesn't make sense in here, but I just type in whatever I want to type it in. Um, so you can see that I have my font awesome selected in my font test right here. It's just basically the font awesome pack, but this pack is, I believe you can find it free online team. And they just type it in here, right? And if you put that in, let me try. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Wait, one sec. One sec. Let me go back here. Um, Donald, wait. Oh, yeah. Copy the graph here. So you have to copy this icon right here. So if you copy the pack and then go back here and type it in, because it's a font, right? Then boom, you can see that that font just happened to be right here right now. And then how can I adjust the font size, right? So you can adjust it by just type, just changing the value of your font sizes. Uh, so if you go like 30, then that will be 30 big, right? So it's extremely easy to adjust the font size. And if I want to left align it, right align it, center align it. And if I want to change my solid, right? Like my lights, my thin, it's just so good that you have to, like you, you can align or you can edit your icon just like uh, editing a test field, right? So that is just very, very simple to manage your icon. And again, right, like icon font awesome, it just have a lot of stuff that you can go on and change. And let's say I want to find a sun icon right now. Right, sun icon here. I like this one, copy it, go back to Figma put that in, in here, boom, that is my icon, right? I don't have to like download anything. I basically just go there and find it and replace it. Uh, so that's just like extremely, extremely easy to manage your icon. So uh, designer loves it, I love it, um, engineers love it. So usually I will find font awesome for like, about like 20% of my project right now. But then for the rare cases, right? Sometimes like the client really do have like a specific kind of icon style that they want to go with then where would I find those icons now? So I find this company called Streamline. So Streamline does a lot of really, really good things. Again, I'm not sponsored by any of these platforms. So Streamlines, why do I love them so much is like the icon pack is very huge as well, where you can see that, you know, 1000 icon here, 500 icon, 500 icons. So any of these icons, they have their different characteristic as well. And the icon pack is just very big, right? If you want some pixelated icons, again, right, they have like a free pack here. So the bigger the pack, the better, right? like I said, right? So this is definitely going to cover a lot of bases. Shoot my regular, like uh, 13,000 icons, right? So it's extremely, extremely big pack. And to use it is very simple as well. Not as simple as Font Awesome because it's not font. But how do you use it is you can just go in here and then you can download the SVG version of it. Or you can simply just copy it. And then going back to your Figma again, right? Just paste it, right? Then boom you have that icon right here, right? Then you can use it. So it's very, they make it just very easy for you to copy and paste and all that stuff. So I love it again, right? Like you can adjust the stroke in here and all you want. So any of these stuff, it's just very easily customizable uh, for your icon. So again, right? Like I use Streamline quite a bit as well before, uh, before I find out like material uh, design simple and all that stuff. Um, but this is another very, very big pack uh, that you can definitely consider if you're finding like some kind of more customized icons, but just a bonus right now, um, they also also have this illustration section um, which I recommend my uh, my 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 mentees right now like she you know sometimes she has a project that needs some kind of illustration for her projects right but how can you actually find illustrations that will give you basically the entire pack that you can use throughout your entire project right so this one, this guy right here, they do a lot of really, really high quality illustrations that you can just use it for your project and you can use it for free too. Um, so for example, this guy, right? I want to use these illustrations. I can download that for free, uh, 400. I, I believe that, you know, if you want to download anything bigger uh, than, um, oh, that one you can download for free too, unbelievable. 
Um, but yeah, like like anything like that, you can just grab it for free. Uh, somehow this pack is free too. So you can see how crazy that is, right? You can just basically grab every single illustration here for free. So definitely check out Streamline. Uh, Streamline, I think, I mean, I don't I don't mind giving them a shout. It's, I mean, they've been doing great work and I do enjoy a lot of these big icon uh, illustration pack, right? Because sometimes it's just very hard to find high quality illustration for your project. But this, you can find it right here and it's free too. So why not, right? So. Uh, then again, you know, like just re, re just uh, going back, like mature simple. I use it most often here because you have a lot of um thing that you can adjust, and then I use font awesome a lot as well. Developer loves it, and also like streamline. And yeah, that's pretty much all the places that I find my icons. And I know that like this whole UI and UX and icon thing can be pretty overwhelming. Like sometimes you have to find like 50 different icons for your project. Uh, but if you follow my guides in here, I'm pretty sure that you will cover in most of your bases. And if you do find it helpful, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. And tell me what do you guys want to see next. And uh, yeah, I do appreciate your support and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.